Welcome to AutoCAD Drafting Tip. Today, we're diving into an essential skill for any AutoCAD user, drawing splines. Whether you're a beginner or looking to sharpen your skills, this tutorial will guide you step by step. Splines are incredibly versatile and powerful tools in AutoCAD. They help you create smooth, flowing curves that are essential in various design fields, from architecture to engineering. Mastering splines can take your designs to the next level. So, what exactly is a spline? In simple terms, a spline is a special type of curve defined by mathematical functions. In AutoCAD, splines allow you to create precise, smooth curves that can follow or control specific points. Before we start, Make sure your workspace is ready. Ensure that the node snap is active. This feature will help your cursor snap to the exact points you need when creating your spline. You can activate it by typing snap in the command line and pressing enter. Let's start with drawing a spline that follows specific points, known as a spline fit. Here's how. Click on the draw menu, then select the spline tool. You can also find it in the home ribbon by expanding the draw panel. Click on your starting point to begin your spline. Continue clicking on each point you want your spline to pass through. Once you've selected all your points, press enter. Your spline fit curve is now complete. Now, let's create a spline using control vertices. This type doesn't pass through the points, but uses them to shape the curve. Select the spline tool again but this time choose the spline control vertices option. Click on your starting point. Continue selecting the points that will control the shape of your spline. Press enter when you're done. Notice how the spline curves smoothly between the control points. You can easily switch between spline types using the command line. Type spline and press enter. Then click on the method menu and choose between fit or control vertices. This flexibility allows you to experiment and choose the best option for your design. Did you know you can change the degree of your spline? By default, AutoCAD uses a degree of 6. Here's how to change it. Activate the spline command. Click on the degree option in the command line. Enter a new degree value. For example, setting it to 1 will create straight lines instead of curves. Try different values to see how they affect your spline. And there you have it. You've learned how to draw splines in AutoCAD, switch between spline types, and adjust their degrees. Now, it's time to experiment and see what you can create with these powerful tools. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more AutoCAD tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and happy designing!